Hey guys, in today's video, I'll be showing you how to make a leader stats GUI in Roblox Studio. Let's get into it. So the model will be in the description and let's get into it. So insert a script into subscript service and rename it what you want. I'll just say leader stats script. So now this is just gonna make the leader stats. So rename the like uh, cache to whatever leader stats you want. So follow along with me. Okay, so this is the time when you need to change the name. So if you want it to be like gems or something, just change it to gems and then change it along there as well. And then obviously change your name. So let's test it out and see if there's now a leader stats that shows up next to our name. There we go, zero cache. So now that we know that works, now we can make the GUI. So insert a screen GUI. Uh, rename it to what you want. I'll just say cast UI, I guess. And then you can customize it as you want. Just make sure that you've obviously got a button. Let me just add a UI stroke. And let's add UI corner. So right now I'm just making it look nice. Something like this. Then a nice blue color, something like that. And then thickness, five, yeah, that looks nice. Oh wait, it needs to be a text label, sorry. <laughs> because you don't wanna be able to click on it. So let's just drag that into there. Boom, and then just say like cache, then put a colon, I guess. And then I'm gonna get this font. Then put it where you want, insert a local script, and follow along with me. Okay, there we go, that's the script. So obviously change this to the name of your leader stats, and then that again. Let's test it out and see if it worked. As you can see, it worked, we have zero cache. And to change the cache, it's best to click on current client and then go into your player, change it there. So I'll do like thousand, current server, boom, changes to a thousand. So yeah, that is it for today's video. Bye guys.